Yes, shine your eyes, use your head on top property matter. Every Tuesday night will they come your way. And uh, you know as they take Duam, myself plus engineer Debo. Now they do them together, talk of say waiting, talk of saying be your girl, girl as far as uh, property matter, real estate to the concern. So I go give the floor to engineer Debo make it for good people where they are. Say yes, we don't land again today. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chief. How are you? Good morning, our viewers. How are you? How was your long weekend? <laughs> your democracy weekend. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Good, good, good. So today, um, we'll continue where we stopped last week. Yes. We want you to ask us questions and so that we can throw more light to any gray area you may have as concerning real estate. Because again, we are like almost at the middle of the year now. Ben. Uh, you know that <laughs> New Year resolution. Hmm. <laughs> at some the people, my house. Uh -huh, some people, their new year resolution this year was that they will build their own house, they will move there. Some now be say then go change for where then they live, go rent another maybe bigger space or move from one part of town to another. This is the time you start to appraise and ask yourself, has that thing happened? If it's supposed to happen as you plan and before, when the year they begin by now and it never happened you go they ask yourself say what thing cause them we know happen so and uh, what can you do to still ensure that what you planned okay still happens within this year so if you have any question along that line whatever is hindering you from achieving your goal or you've been trying to achieve your goal but you have some things to some hair to clear about it now the time be this way if you ask us those questions. Okay, the very qu first question we did here we say one person write us okay uh, she now she now so okay. she, she won't go into real estate business. Mm. So she won't be investor for real estate as everybody here say money day real estate, money day real estate. Mm -hmm. She say what be your advice for how how can she start as an investor for real estate market? Mm. Very good question. Very, very good question. So, you see, where me are they always tell people, be say, before you put your money on something, eh, put your money on to learn that thing. Make you understand the thing where you want to put your money on top. Eh, don't put your money on something that you don't have knowledge about. Eh, somebody talk and say, if you put money first, knowledge can be run after money, as in you put your money first, something, you can't they try to know about them, your money will disappear. Yeah. Uh, knowledge will not be able to catch up with your money because mm. money is so fast. Uh, but if you put more knowledge ahead and you can't put your money, money after them, uh, uh, that way the knowledge will protect your money. We will say your money go they do well. So you want to invest in real estate, Learn about real estate. Attend courses. Go online. Read up. You understand? Go on YouTube channel. Subscribe. Web TV. They their property matter. We don't do them for years now. Uh, we get so many episodes. Binge your needs. May you learn. Look for seminars. What they do by credible people. Eh? Pay money. Whether online or in person. Go attend. May you listen. Because may you feel, you're supposed to know about real estate. Eh? The you nature of exactly the nature of it, how people make money, how they don't make money, what constitutes real estate, tied to all of those things. You get to know a, a few things about it before you now start to the put money on top. So you go no waiting you they even put money on. That is the advice I have. And once you know about real estate, eh, no money where you get way too small. That's the beauty. Once you know about real estate, estate. you go see no say, amount, no you amount of money where you get way too small to invest in real estate because there's so many ways where people they invest in real estate these days. Well, uh, I think uh, this one where you talk class, it be some people say me say I want to my out because mm. one of my friend mm. where be say he don't graduate and mm. you know all this no job no job thing mm. what then they do mm. so well the, the, I can't see him some days ago he don't the bobo abo do say say he say in mama do sell sand. Okay. You know, there's some people where can I do? Yeah. Then the yeah. The, then the mine sand. The yeah. mine sand. Yeah. And lo and bio, now this sand business in Mama take built house where then they stay. She. And in the day house they talk say job you no know, get day. job. He come ask me say one day say wait to, mommy, if you teach me how to do this sand mm. business, 
plus my own education. Yeah. Said it in no go move. Yeah, I mean. And to cut the long story short, now yeah, what thing they do? Job. Now what thing they do? And in the time say the capital requirements have no be something, no be millions, no be no be anything. The truth of the matter be say most of the time, sometimes you can get people to actually pay before you supply. Yes. You can get yes. them sometimes yes. you can get them to pay before you supply. At times you can get them to pay part money before you supply. Even if they know most supply with me I even know safe. Speaking from experience, you will yeah. pay before they supply now. Or even if they know even you know you get some some sand sand business normally. You, they go see them for site like this, yes. accept them before they pay. Uh, but you get a relationship where you do you don't you build, build. Be say, but that one even aside. No relationship. The money where you need to take one trip, two trips, is some is money you can borrow or gather from friends and family, mm -hmm. you know, to start life and business. Plus, we say, if mama don't they do, and you know, if mama don't they do, and so he go just as the mama teacher, you understand, and he go just introduce his own education knowledge to make him better. Where we say, he go just shoot up. Now the existing mama customer and all of those things, now he go, go use. Stuff. Build up your own. And whether we like it or not, now he's not part of real estate. In you see the guy, the bubble now. Uh, uh, now materials, now a huge part of real estate. Nobody just saying a small part, now major part of real estate materials. Because not as well you build now without materials. I believe I think that one will catapult us go to the next question. That's high cost of building materials vis a vis the fuel subsidy. But mm. let's just say. Uh, good morning. <laughs> oh, we lost that. Okay, please try call us back if you are able to get us again. High cost of building materials vis-a-vis -vis the removal of force subsidy. Well, uh, I think so this person they ask based on how material they do for market for mm. now. Bull or now buy your what is the mm. because Abuja long rock when <laughs> is there a way to see Abuja long rock when long rock when wow. <laughs> That's the truth because he goes Abuja because you see. Is the forces of demand and supply. Uh, <laughs> if we don't increase, so well, the government says they are bringing up some palliative measures. Okay, so let's watch out to see how those things will impact. Then don't they bring buses and all of that that will reduce cost of transportation? They will not make it well. If we see all of that, eh, to the degree to which the fuel increase has an impact on the economy is the degree to which it will affect material prices. Mm -hmm. uh, so if it affects it significantly, it will affect material prices. Material prices cannot be in isolation of the rest of the economy. So now, now so so definitely I mean property prices are are going to probably go up. Uh, but we may not um, get into the full swing of it until say another two, three months time so if I when hear, this price is you don't really enter if i hear you were now say it's a good time to buy materials now hey eh, well <laughs> why not yes i mean if you have money and you have a warehouse where you can you are a builder or you are a developer or contractor and you have the resources why not yes there are people that have locked in their prices actually hmm. right now material prices right just a generous property matter and i need a watch on top web tv and uh, we they give people the opportunity to ask any more way they do their mind yaga yaga. Possibly you and your landlord you get one to go and they drag me and you need legal advice because I know say engineer Debo talk last week say <laughs> it is very very hard, if not impossible, to separate law from real estate because basically everything we then they do inside real estate safe now law. Now in the guide them. You won't buy land, documentation, all these things now still something we get to do with the law. So it could make you ask, make you ask professional advice. So that you know go talk, say ah, as my landlord offend me, I go lock house, come out for ten months. Where's <laughs> 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 people they do? They go think say they, they punish the landlord, so they go lock house, come out for ten months and wow. it, well, in fairness to landlords, engineer they but in fairness to landlords. We know say you know they legal for any landlord to say okay we'll turn and lock house my jalekun or my agba window all those things. But mm -hmm. in fairness to these landlords and as you they always talk because I know you have this juice of uh, pity for them as they always talk. Now what did they take job? So if if one one crook of a tenant so to say decides to 
lock the house for a year and you don't get another place, but you say you won't punish landlord. What are the steps the landlord can actually I think seek? it's uh, very simple. The landlord should report to the uh, relevant police authority and um, once they are able to, once he's able to convince them that this person has just locked up the house for some time and is nowhere to be found, he can't be reached and stuff like that, they would, they would take the normal procedure. I don't know precisely how long they would they need the place to, to, to be observed for before they then uh, break it. But it would be the police that would break it and take record of what they find there and move it to. I think they normally move it to the station or something. So when the guy, whenever the guy comes, he will go and claim his things at the station if he comes. So that's, that's what I know happens, yeah. So it's something that they can report to the relevant authorities. And if they are having any problem, they should engage a lawyer uh, to help them in handling that, uh, that aspect. But it's very possible. Okay, let's talk about developers. I think I have something that has to do with developers. Here. Okay. Okay, uh, we know saying developer, or uh, house development, now let me use that word, mm. now the trend, now the, the thing where they happen now. Most houses for, um, is it green, uh, uh, brown areas, Abi, the place where they never develop where we? Greenfield. Greenfield. Yeah, most, uh, most houses there now, go see, say, um, I want to ask a question. Is solar as, a, as an environment? Is solar, I'm not talking about the Ajaupa, the is solar part. Say we feel call that place Greenfield too. Uh, how? No, no place will never develop for solar. But when would they talk about development? I'm talking about real urban kind of houses. No be face me, I face you. No, so when we talk about whether somewhere is a Greenfield or Brownfield, we know they talk about the type of house. Okay. It's just whether the place is fully developed or not. not. In fact, most places that are brownfield areas that have been there for some time, what you find is out-of-date type of designs. Okay. Uh, so look at Yaba now. Okay. I'm not sure there is so much face-my-face -face in Yaba itself, but most of the houses are out, outdated designs. So it's a brownfield. Mm. So it's not about whether it's uh, tenement houses that are there, that's why it's brownfield or not. No, it's majorly that the place is fully developed. You can hardly find land, just, okay. just empty land. Okay. Mm. So the, the one way we would the one ask about uh, property development now, I won't give my house to a developer now. Mm. You understand? So, okay, mm. uh, these are our papa house. So, you know, they give us what we're supposed to be receive. Say, for instance, for Ajao now, mm. the latest price for your two bedroom flat for this Ajao now are mm. two million. If you are fortunate, you find 1.8. Sure. Yes, we. Two bedroom flat. Yes, we, my friend, is still go do survey last week. Mm. And we can't get face me, I face you. We will still collect maybe 10,000 naira per room. You understand? Mm -hmm. For this same Ajao. Mm. And we have uh, possibly 20 rooms, so we are not making more than 200,000. In it. So wow. now the question: per month? Is, uh, ten thousand naira per month. Okay. So I just uh, do the normal I get uh, cost of everything at the end of the day. I so get now at the end of the day, somebody with the same land is making times three or times four of what I so. I won't give us to develop mm. now. That's the next one we won't talk about. Mm. How do we go about it? Is it Namigo talks? Say, okay, this is my land where I won't give you. You go use that for ten years. You go use that for five years. How do we operate? How, what was what's the law that guides um, the issue of uh, developers? Well, um, it's not so much of law uh, that than it is about investments, okay. investment consideration. What is the contribution? of the parties that are coming in to do that, what you call joint venture. That's what you call it. Because now, I, I get land. Then I won't call person, will be say, he get money, and he gets whether the knowledge of how to develop the land. Say, making him come develop them. And we come to talk about how we go share within the app, will be. Okay. Right. So it depends. If now developmental is, meaning that when they develop, finish, nobody goes sell. The person will develop, he go manage the property, go collect rent for some time. He will give and time, make it collect. After that time finish, the property go come, we back. I think that's a, that's a question. So we will get the land. That's a question we actually want to ask. Mm. That's where I want you to choose. How will you determine okay, how long? Okay, so now investment and a negotiation. 
Now investment and land negotiation. If, for example, on your house we be say uh, the land, you understand, what social amounts, and then me I won't develop something on top of them. We what say like hundred million, and the rent where I go they collect from that place, say now like uh, ten million naira. You know, um, it means that without even arguing, you know definitely that I will stay, I will run that property for more than 10 years. Of course. To be able to recoup my money and make some profits. You understand? So, usually in some places you will see 15, 20, 25 years. Yes. yes. So, that's negotiation. It's based on negotiation. Ah. All of it is based on how much rent. So, <laughs> you uh, well, when you do, okay, so this is it. Eh? These days, eh, to accommodate for your kind of sentiment, when you do that kind of <laughs> development, kind of and sentiment. yes, when you do that kind of development with a landowner, let's say you develop like six apartments on that house, okay. you feel give them, make them they collect money for one or two. To take the shop. You understand? Why you go they collect money on four? Do you understand? Or five. Then the number of years where you go collect and go long pass. Of course, because so that you can recoup your money. And they too, during that those years, they are not left without anything at all. And that's how to balance that, uh, that equation. Issue. Yes, that's how to balance that equation. But it all boils down to negotiation. negotiation. Because by the time me and things say, you know what, this is my hundred million where I won't put on this your house to develop up. He get all that things where if he put hundred million on top, and he get waiting then go fetch me. Now those things I go they compare with waiting I go get from your own. Now if waiting I go get from your own, pay me pass the other options. Now here I go put my hundred million on top of your own now, because if you no pay me reach the other options, I go I no go take your development. I go go use my hundred million do something else. Uh, so that is where negotiation comes in to be able to. Last, last, I want to make a quickly talk about uh, the issue of uh, step back when building a house. This one, as some people say, last week, people carried themselves go police station on top of them. And uh, uh, I've come to also realize that most of us, or most landlords, they know they give regard or they know they obey that step back law. Because most people now, they know, saying, I hear my land ritual, they go stay and crouch. They could say there should be grass law and why be a magima. So you understand. Waiting, waiting be the law we guide step back and uh, waiting be the punishments, so to say, because people they use step back to build shops now. They they use them enter road now, they, they do a lot of things and at the all this kind of thing at, now, at the detriment of innocent people we won't collect shop. We say at the end of the day, the government will come, they go break them. Step back, what will be those things we we'll need to know about them and how we feel take the manager because it cause many issues now for area. Okay, set back. Okay. Set back, rather. Okay, so set back. Eh? Um, any land we person gets, what represents your land is what we call a survey. Okay. Uh, the survey tells you where your land be and how your land be is so clear. It's not ambiguous. It's just that people sometimes will be people. And when they get on the site and they don't mark the land for them already according to the survey, but then seaside, they say, ah, one small space there in my front now. Why well, I know just move them or something like that. Then they go start to they do funny, funny things. And that is what leads into a degenerated environment, you know, slum and all of those things. Those are the kind of things that lead. So, it is the duty of um, um, property uh, government agencies, okay, to ensure that people keep to those laws, you know. So, when you are trespassing, because it's a trespass. Wow. Yes. For my frontage, Gagan. And your frontage is your frontage. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't mean that it's, it's your, your land. Uh, that becomes a common area. And every common area is controlled by the state government, by the government, as it were. Local government or state, wherever you are. So, if you have a setback, you are not supposed to be able to do anything there. Anything you do there will be legal. 
That's the truth. Anything you do there, or what you call buffer zone or something, anything you do there will be legal. The <laughs> line of your land, the line of your land is where your fence should be. And that's where your land starts. That's why you see eh, these days, you know that in some states, Lagos State particularly, for example, you cannot park in front of your supposed house. Uh, because it's not your land. You can't just say uh, it's in front of my house. That is government property. If government does not allow parking in that place, you cannot park. So even you if have I to park, go inside your house and park. Even if I park for that kind of place, I don't have a case with you who is telling me, move your car, you can't park there in front of my house. I have a case with government. Who is the you? I'm talking about a come visit person for that area mm. and I park for that main mm. road. Mm. And you know, there's some landlord go come out, you can't park there. It's mm. in front of my house. Mm. But the truth is, it is not really. Uh, is, you don't, you, they can't say you can't park there, it's in front of my house because it's in front of their house. No. Mm. You can't park there because it is a public area. Uh, it's for go it's for public access and you cannot come and constitute a new sign. Not because not the front of my not house. Not really again. because not the front of my house. Wow. But because if it's in the front of their house, really, then they have civic responsibility, let's okay. put it that way, okay. to ensure that the law is followed. Okay. And maybe that's just what they are trying to do. To, 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 okay. I think uh, on that, we want to say a very big thank you. From myself and engineer Debo, we're going to say... Bye. Shine your eyes. Use your head. Come and